I am so excited. We just wrapped up the Empower Series. What a great event we had. It is so important for us as business to be able to start our businesses. And one, three things I want to leave you with. Get a mentor. Do your business plan. Go out and make a difference in your community and make your dreams come true with Empower Series. Thank you, thank you. Uh, first of all, uh, good morning to everyone. It is a, certainly a great pleasure to be here and represent a fine group of women and men. And first of all, I want to say in honor of uh, Women's History Month, it's in March. So let us congratulate us women as being very significant. <laughs> in our community, and in our cities, and in our states, and then nationwide. My name is Linda Gray. I am a certified SCORE mentor with SCORE. I am so excited to be able to present SCORE services to the community. And one thing that I can truly say that the Dallas City, Texas, United States of America is the best place to be in business. It is one of the best places to even start your business. It is the greatest place to even be employed by businesses. So in this room, as you all were coming in, I was uh, looking at the magnificent CEOs in here. I see CEOs. <laughs> I see women that are leaders in their communities and they are opportunities to be able to set our city on fire with our businesses. And that's one believer that I am truly have had the privilege to be associated with SCORE. And I do want to take time to at least acknowledge Clifton Johnson. Where are you, Clifton? <laughs> I want to uh, thank him for allowing us to be able to come and present our services to the community. And as he said earlier, the SCORE is the only resource partner of the Small Business Administration. It is the premier nonprofit organization. We are, we're a 501c3, but we are the only premier organization that actually do mentoring. It is so important for you to have a mentor or someone to coach you, guide you, and help you as you begin to think about starting your business, even having a mentor to even just coach you along the way within your business. So I am going to present a short presentation, and we'll go through it, and we'll have opportunities for Q&A. Uh, I believe that we're wired up, so if there is any thing that we are showing here, definitely make a note of that, register, and as we go through the PowerPoint presentation, there are a lot of things that you will learn, and I'm going to try my best to answer all questions, and we'll be able to move forward, and then hopefully you will be able to get more than what you got when you came in. So let's begin. And as I say, SCORE, it's dedicated to entrepreneurial education and the formation and growth and success of small businesses. Now let's get some uh, national history. We are a national foundation. Our headquarters is uh, located in, where is our headquarters? Herndon, Virginia. Virginia. It used to be in Washington, DC. We were formed in 1964, and it was formed by 20 men who were retired business owners who decided that they wanted to give back to the community by offering some business mentoring support services to the community. And so SCORE Dallas was the very first chapter. And we've been around here in Dallas since 1965. So a very long time. Today, nationally, we have over 11,000 mentors. We have 350 plus chapters, and so you'll see the little tic tacs there on the map where we're located. And we have served 8.5 million 
clients. And our Dallas chapter, we have host hundreds and hundreds of workshops each year. Who in here has attended a SCORE workshop? Okay, good. Okay, who will attend workshops after this presentation? That's good, because that is the key, because that is one of our signature products. We actually, actually teach you, and we have specialized workshops for every facet of your business and in every industry as well. Okay, here is the, your local Dallas, Texas, and Collin County, and Fort Worth, of uh, satellite offices. We have several satellite offices throughout the city of Dallas and the uh, Collin County as well and in Tarrant County. Most of our satellite offices are held within the Chamber of Commerces. All of your Chambers of Commerces house us to be able to meet you where you are. And I'm so excited because our past president, her name is Terry Toomey, Thank you for coming, Terry. She's our past president. She was the first chapter president as a woman since 1964. <laughs> so congratulations to her. And so when she came on board, she started the first penetration into South Dallas. And we want to thank her for actually being the lead on bringing SCORE services to South Dallas. So we are located at the Bill J. Priest Center, and we'll go more into those services that are over there. And then we have a great new uh, satellite offices uh, with the Veterans uh, Women's Enterprise Center, which is newly uh, located on Lancaster. And we'll hear more about that from VR, small. And so uh, all of our offices and services are free. And when I say free, I don't mean a hand out. I mean a hand up because number one, each and every one of us have paid the taxes. These are your tax dollars. We as volunteers, we volunteer our time. We do not get paid. We do not have any paid staff. We only have two paid staff only to take care of our administrative duties. But we have 55 seasoned volunteers who provide their time and services completely for no charge. And I think what we do, we get more out of mentoring than could, you could ever put a price on it. So that's a great opportunity for us to give back plus be enriched by serving. All right, let's get some statistics about us. We presented this past year, 2017, 108 workshops throughout the city of Dallas. We have also, the total attendance have been 2,477. We've had total client training hours, 5,825. Our total mentoring sessions have been 4,655 sessions we've had. Our mentoring session hours, these are our hours that we dedicated, over 5,966 hours. And 31.1% .1 of our clients are already in business. Now, you would think that would be good, but it's not good enough because as we took a look at the demographics and the economic analysis of the entire city of Dallas, we found out that most of your economic development are in the southern sectors, are in Oak Cliff, are in some suburban areas as far as DeSoto and Duncanville, those areas are prime for economic development. Now, let's talk about what we actually do. We provide free, confidential, one-on-one -on -one mentoring. So that means confidential. We respect the confidentiality and the integrity of the clients that we meet. It is so important for your mentor to be a qualified individual that know their information, that know the service industry that you're trying to go, and it respect you as an individual and coach you and mentor you and nurture you. Now, sometimes we ask a lot of questions, but it's not 
to intimidate you. We just need to know what's in your idea. What is your idea? Is it feasible? We just want to encourage you and help you to be able to select a good business that you can make profit from. Okay, now many of our uh, mentors, they're retired. It's some of our mentors work. And it's some of our mentors, like me and others, we have our own uh, business. So we come in all walks of life, but one thing for sure, we value our customers and our clients. So whenever that you decide to come and let us mentor you, I guarantee you, you will never go back. And one thing about us, we're always available. So you can see your score mentor that you select anytime. That's between you and your mentor. So it's a great opportunity to take advantage of our services. Now we also help existing businesses. We actually come, when we're requested, we can go out on a business site and do business analysis. We can go around to your human resource department and sort of e reevaluate some of the things that you need to improve. So we do that. And that's a great uh, service because the businesses usually employ people of their community. And that's what we want to do. We want the businesses to thrive in their community, but we also want the people in the community to, to be employed or affiliated with the business in the community. We serve nonprofit organizations as well as the for-profit. And I'm going to tell you now, um, my expertise is in nonprofit. That's what I bring to the table with SCORE. I've had over 25 to 30 years of nonprofit uh, experience. So I just grew up, I'm just a nonprofit baby. <laughs> but I love it because, let me tell you about a nonprofit organization. Just because you're nonprofit and charitable and tax exempt do not mean that you cannot be profitable because you can. That's the key. You have to be profitable in your nonprofit organization. And there are ways that you can become profitable. So I'm going to pass on for nonprofit for a while, but we'll get back uh, to that later. But it is very important that we even businesses even connect with nonprofit organizations in the community because there can be revenues generated to support both the nonprofit organization and the for-profit business, because nonprofit businesses can actually get federal dollars, corporate dollars, and foundation dollars to collaborate with for-profit businesses, because for-profit businesses, they want to reinvest back in their community. And a nonprofit organization is a vehicle for them to do. And we're also, we have convenient locations throughout the Metroplex, which makes it easy and available so we meet you in your community. And look, we're far, partially funded, like I said earlier, by the Small Business Administration. But the thing is, these are your tax dollars. So what greater resource, what greater service that we offer that your tax dollars can be reinvested back into your community to build you? So that's a great uh, opportunity of what we do. Another thing, we listen to our clients. We do, we have to listen to our clients. One of the signature services that we offer is the face-to-face. -face. And I'm gonna tell you a little story about my face-to-face. -face. Um, I was mentoring when I moved here from Mobile, Alabama. I'm from Midland, Texas, okay? But we lived in Mobile, Alabama. So when I got transferred uh, as a SCORE mentor to the Dallas office, <laughs> My second client, my second, not my first, but my second client was a young lady who came into the office and had pink hair. Pink, pink hair. And so one of the things that we learned in SCORE is that we have to stop and suspend judgment. So in other words, that was sort of hard for me to take because I wasn't expecting this young lady coming in with pink hair. But come to find out, she has one of the largest tattoo businesses in Uptown Dallas. 
So celebrities, movie stars, and famous people, they fly into Dallas, go to her tattoo shop, and fly on out. So we, we, we have to listen, and then we have to suspend judgment. So that's one of the key things that we as SCORE mentors, we go through a rigorous uh, training orientation on being the best certified mentors across the nation. Now, one of the better, best ways to get information about our organization is on our website, dallas.score.org. You want to make sure that you check that periodically, especially weekly, because that's where we uh, display all of our workshops. And so we do have quite a bit of good workshops. And here's a few. We have the best one that I think, and we have another one that's even better than that. But the first one is a part one and part two of starting a successful business. That is so important. But that should be the first workshop that you take if you are just starting your business or even if you have not thought about a business. I think you should, that should be the first workshop. And we offer those on the weekends, on Saturdays, and there's a small fee to attend. But you know what? There's nothing wrong investing in your dream because we have to invest something. You know what I mean? Uh, we do. And, but we want to make sure of our workshops that we're taking that is affecting our bottom line in our business. So you wouldn't take a workshop that wouldn't benefit your business. We have a signature workshop from me <laughs> and a couple of my colleagues on how to start a nonprofit organization. And that's so key because you can develop your own paperwork yourself through the workshop. You do not have to pay an attorney or an accountant to uh, produce your paperwork. You learn it in the workshop. The 1023, the IRS, the regulations, and then also we have a customer service excellent workshop. And we have, and it will, uh, Terry Toomey, uh, develop a marketing workshop because it's so important to have a business that have marketable uh, initiatives in order to grow. We also have where we buy and sell a business. We have financials for non-financial managers. We have a website presence, uh, uh, social, what is it called? Search engine optimism, that's what it is. Uh, we have that great workshop. That is, uh, uh, ha ha that's in Irving, Texas at the Irving Chamber of Commerce. And we have Stan Booth, who is a seasoned mentor that can definitely help you put your website out there, out front. We also have QuickBooks for basic and advanced workshops. And then the best one that I find more Beneficial is starting your own consulting business. Now, when I say starting your own consulting business, you want to think about starting a business where you have the services, you have the information, you have the knowledge, you have certain skills, certain business acronyms that help you start your own consulting business. So we have that as a workshop, great workshop. Now, we can also help existing businesses. Uh, the Cane, what is the Cane Chicken place? Raising Canes. That was one, that's a SCORE client when, over in Markenburg. SCORE mentored Raising Cane when they first came in as their franchise, and they produced. So we actually can help existing businesses grow, and then we can have co help corporate companies help them with their social responsibility in serving and hiring and contracting small businesses, and particularly minority and woman-owned businesses. So we have that service. Now, let me tell you what we don't do. We're not consultants, you can't hire us. We're not a banker, we're not a lawyer, and we're not a CPA firm. But we can tell you where the resources are, and we can recommend the best. And one of those resources is called TexasCBar.org. I'm going to repeat that again. Texas, the initial C, B-A-R, 
www.nonprofitorganizations.org. That is a nonprofit organization started by attorneys where you can get access to have a session with an attorney for no charge. That's the reason why it started. It's made up of every attorney in the state of Texas. And we have several that, is, that are members here in the Dallas area and also in Plano. So those are two uh, places that I recommend that when you get on that website, you can actually set up your appointment with these uh, 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 attorneys and no charge. And they have one of the most greatest legal libraries in the nation that's free. You pull up on their website, you go to their legal resource library, they develop your non-disclosure uh, contracts, your bylaws, your uh, memorandum of agreements and contracts. I mean, all of that is available as a free source. Now, let's talk about some of the things that we SCORE have been lacking on. And let me give you some statistics. 62% of our clients are women. Okay, 28% are minorities. That's not acceptable to us with SCORE. It's no reason for us to not be able to impact our minority community. And 10% are veterans, and we'll hear briefly from uh, VR Smalls uh, regarding that statistics. But that is why we are trying our best to get SCORE's information out to the community. Because I tell you what, <laughs> blacks, which I did, I did a little, uh, I saw a research, a little study. Black people spend more money than any people in the entire world. I'm not, I'm not just talking about the United States, we're talking about the entire world. But within Dallas, more minorities spend more money <laughs> than any other race. And so, with that being said, we should be owning our banks. We should develop community banks locally, where, as a community citizen, I can go and bank and deposit my bank, my money, in a bank in my community to help my community get reinvestment dollars. That's so important. And so, we, we want to do better. So that's the reason why I'm encouraging you, please take advantage of our SCORE services and then watch success come to you. Now, these are some things that really helped me. I had a mentor with SCORE when I started SCORE. I, was, I started SCORE in 2002. And the first time I went, to get SCORE, I was very intimidated because, you know, I, I had these ideas that I wanted to start my business. But I went to a SCORE office and they asked me so many questions and then they caught me off guard because they were two elderly white men. Okay, so it just sort of like, okay. So in that experience though, it helped me realize that people like me really do need help. And we really do need to be able to get advice from culturally sensitive needs that we have. And I'm not saying, you know, it is, it's not uh, appropriate to get, to get a white uh, mentor. I'm not saying that. But I'm just saying the lack of us not being able to take advantage and also the opportunity for us to become mentors. So at that time, I made a decision that I wanted to be a mentor because the business that I wanted to start was a nonprofit consulting business. So that's the reason why. But I had a mentor. I had a SCORE mentor, she was a woman, and she guided me, she coached me, she pulled me, and then these are some of the things that I wanna share with you what she told me to do. She told me to always get registered in business opportunities, and that means to register in the system awards management. Who has heard of the system awards management? Are you registered? Okay, because your business need to register or, and you as an individual person need to register, okay? Now, also, that's so important because look, that is the national funding database for the federal government. 
That's how you're going to get paid through contracts. You got to be registered in there in order to even go after a contract. Okay, so that's so important. And Texas is one of the most fruitful contract given state in the entire United States. But you take a look at the percentages of minorities taking advantage, it, it's low. So it's so important though for us to get registered so we can become available and qualified to get the, uh, uh, the contracts. Now, the other is called North American Industry Service Code, NACS. That's so important for you to go into that system. It's on the website, NASC, I think, .org. But what that does is that help you identify your business service code. And then I recommend that each one of you at least identify at least three of those codes that will qualify you to do business. Okay, so it, 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 you, when you look at the list of these codes, you can find yourself. When I first started out with nonprofit consulting and taking a look, I identified seven, okay? So in other words, it's called residual income, residual revenues, and then the opportunity to get contracts from every different type of agencies. And then hub certification is what I call the low-hanging fruit. The low-hanging fruit, <laughs> means the opportunities to get funding in your city and in your county. And that's where we're gonna move on to the contract services. We wanna take a look at city contracts. I'm every city in the United States, and particularly in Texas, and particularly in the city of Dallas, city of Duncanville, city of DeSoto, all of these cities, cities of Lancaster is a great one, have strategic plans and you need to read them and they're posted on their website. On the city's strategic plan, actually, it the city will tell you what type of business and services that they need to serve the citizens. Because citizens as taxpayers, that's why the federal dollars are allocated because we are the taxpayers, we are the people in the city that make the city run. So therefore, it's opportunities that you need to start on the local level. Also with the education institutions here, Dallas ISD, Plano ISD, all of these uh, independent school districts have opportunities to be able to uh, offer contracts, after school program, children's reading program, lots of things, and then hospitals and medical clinics. Hospitals is a real good one. Medical clinics, you'd be surprised how hospitals give out contracts and need mentoring. Mentoring, mentoring is the key. Get us to mentor you, to guide you, to instruct you into being able to make a difference and get the business. Okay, something is very important. We've got to be sure that we have a business plan. Business plan is so important, and these are just the elements, the mission, the business, the marketing plan, the financial data, the supporting documentation. Business plans are the key. You have to have a business plan. A lot of people, look, now I can be the first one to say, I did not have a business plan. I really didn't. And that was a mistake because I started my business in 1998. So I need to be a billionaire by now, would you think? <laughs> I didn't have a business plan, a blueprint to go by to continuously grow. So then I decided, I said, okay, then I'll mentor others to become the best nonprofit uh, organization. But a business plan is your roadmap, okay? Execution of that business plan. And SCORE is the one that can help you. I love our one-on-one -on -one mentoring plan. When you call SCORE office, you can make an appointment with, to see and talk with a SCORE mentor. That's the first initial step. You should be able to be sure and connect with a mentor first. That's your first step. And continue the relationship. And then we'll guide you through these mentoring sessions. We'll guide you to a complete, great, beneficial, effective plan 
to get you started. That is so good. Some of our other resources, we uh, like the smallbusinessadministration.gov. That's a great resource. They have all of your business plan templates there. They have financial templates. All you have to do is take advantage of them. And then at the end, we definitely going to share the PDF file uh, from this. And I think uh, Clifton, uh, would that be made available to the people for the uh, PDF file of this presentation? Right. Right, because I want to make sure they uh, zero in on these resources. Okay, now real quick, going through this, additional business resources that we have not been taking advantage of. The Small Business Development Center, we have those in every college, every community college. They provide the free tax-based services for businesses. I mean, you go in there, you can receive all types of services. Texas C-Bar we mentioned, Lyft Fund, Axion People's Fund. Now, let's talk about uh, Axion is my favorite lending. Axion Lift Fund, People's Fund, they are a community development funding initiative. So they provide loans for startup entrepreneurs who really cannot get a traditional loan at the bank, at Bank of America, Chase, all those. No, Lift Fund, and Axion and People's Fund, they received a grant from the Department of Treasury. These are dollars that they get access to to lend out to start up entrepreneurs. And I recommend that you take advantage of these resources. And I found out that Axion only requires you to have a credit score of 525. You got a good idea? You're, you're great they will work with you with a credit score of 525 because the issue is they got the money. They've got the contract dollars from the Department of Treasury. You got the plan. And if it fits within the city's strategic plan, you'll more than likely get that loan. So they lend from 500 all the way up to 350,000. My favorite one is Axion. My second favorite one is People's Fund, and then I gotta say the other one, Lift Fund, because we're supposed to give three, three resources. All right. <laughs> okay, now the other additional resources that we really do need to be mindful of, the Texas Association of African American Chamber of Commerce. That is so important to be able, this organization is statewide, and what they do, they have an agreement with all of the state agencies that contract out to minority businesses. And this organization, the Texas Association of African American Chamber of Commerce, they make sure that those contracts are on the state level that are given out fairly. So that's a great resource there. A lot of people, have anyone heard of that? Of the Texas Association of, okay. That's good, that's one. That's a great resource and they have a website. Now the Hispanic Chamber of Commerce, that's another effective uh, uh, chamber to do business with. I'm telling you, they are a curve, they have a curve ball on business and their communities. So we wanna take advantage of these resources because they're available for us and there are no charge. Now, uh, I learned of one yesterday it's called the National Association of Black Accountants. I didn't, I didn't even know that they existed until yesterday. But that's a great resource that we need to take advantage of those opportunities and resources. Okay, I've said a lot <laughs> and I'm down to the end and I know we probably have some uh, questions and answers, but I wanna encourage you, if you don't do anything but one thing today, please call SCORE. Here's our number, 21498. Uh, 79491 or go directly to our website, but call SCORE and make an appointment with one of our 55 seasoned mentors and you won't go wrong. My name is James Thomas. I'm the publisher and CEO of Southern Dallas County Business and Living Magazine. And I am was so impressed with what I heard today at the SCORE uh, event. This is the information that every business owner 
if someone thinking about that business should be a part of. It is incredible. The services that they offer um, are something you would have to pay thousands of dollars for if you went to business school. But SCORE, Linda today, Linda Gray was incredible. She was excellent. She gave us all the information that you could possibly need to start a business, to run a business. She talked about contracting. She talked about how to find money. All these types of things are, uh, she talked about marketing. All these types of things are what people need to know how to do when you're talking about starting a business and growing a business. So I would recommend anybody, if you're considering starting a business or if you know someone who's in business right now, send them to SCORE today because you will not regret it. Thank you so much. I thought the Empowerment Series, uh, the series today and the speakers were uh, dynamic. Um, one thing I always believe is you don't know what you don't know. Um, so when you come, you always get some new information, uh, especially talking about being an entrepreneur. Um, and not even that, even if you're working somewhere, it's gonna give you some tools that are gonna help you grow not only professionally, but it's personally. Um, and the series in itself is, um, uh, it's more than, it's invaluable is what I would say. Uh, I would encourage anyone uh, to come out, uh, even if it's not something that's related within your industry or, or what you're interested in. Uh, the most important thing is you're going to meet someone who has like-minded ideas, someone who can give you ideas that you hadn't thought of that are going to enhance you in many ways. Uh, something was said today is that we're getting information that's, that's going to impact you. Not only just uh, your family and yourself and your community, but can impact the world and impact people that are not even born yet. So uh, you can come and get inspired, come being informed, and uh, just grow in every way possible. Good afternoon. My name is Reginald Taylor, a re frequent attendee of the Empower series. And it is important for you all to come and join us out here each third Saturday of the month. My first time at attending the Power Series was October of 2014, in which the power for Dr. Kimbrough relayed his message as well as his story um, about his beginning journey. And during this time, I was a college student receiving or undergoing my associate's undergraduate tenure. And just listening to Dr. Kimbrough's message encouraged and motivated me to keep going. Now I am a graduate, a recent graduate from Delta State University. I received my bachelor's as well as many other accomplishments such as Phi Theta Kappa member as well as all Texas academic team. Just surrounding myself with professional individuals, the community of professionals such as Dr. Dennis Kimbrough, Clifton Johnson, Ms. Linda, and nameless others, I have grown and establish myself as a professional in corporate America. Again, it is important for you all to come out to attend the Empower Series because we cover a, diff a wide range of topics. Depending on personal growth, business startup, as well as growth and development. Not to omit, Empower Series is a way to network with a lot of professionals in the Dallas community. We plan on expanding and helping our community grow as well as our nation. Hello, good afternoon. My name is Ariane Davis. Today I attended the Empower Series. We focused on Linda Gray, who is a nonprofit consultant. Uh, as a new entrepreneur starting my nonprofit to house homeless veterans, today I learned various resources that allow me access to market research, different financial options, but more importantly, other community leaders who are doing the same exact thing to help collaboration within the Dallas-Fort Worth area. So, Whenever you get a chance, definitely come out to Empower Series Network. Um, it's just more than you know a couple hours of just listening to various speakers. It's just a community coming together, growing together collectively for a higher cause.